So I figured out a pretty cool base, a very easy one to do, by the way, and this is what it is here. This is like 100% zombie proof, right? The zombies have no idea what to do when you do this method. Now, all I've done is I've used these top ladder things. Let me just quickly see what they're called quickly. Uh, they are called a ladder rail, and I basically what I've done is I've just stacked them up. So let me just show you what I've done. It's a bit difficult, they can be a bit, a bit finicky, but you just stack them up like this, and then you can go as high as you like, by the way. And then you put your base on top of that. Now you can use one pillar, three pillars, multiple multiple pillars, it doesn't really matter. It still works nonetheless. Now the zombies don't actually use this as a path. Well, they don't detect it as a pillar. So what basically happens is... Let's get some zombies in here. There you go, that should be enough and we can quickly jump up. Okay, so now we activate the zombies and this is where they get really confused. They walk straight through those, by the way, and by the way, you can actually shoot through them as well, so you can't actually hit them. Which is super nice, because you can't actually break them yourself. And, well, obviously, if you have a lot of zombies, they can stack up and hit you, but you can just go as high as you like if you want. And then I've got this thing in the middle here, so I can shoot down at them. So, yeah, that's like 100% cheese base, guys. I mean, that's insane, right? <laughs> I'm so surprised the fun pumps actually haven't, like, kind of fixed these things. I mean, it's quite obvious. They're quite easy to find as well. This is like one of the first things I placed down to see if um, zombies would pass through them. And as you can see, it's working flawlessly. Now, obviously, if you have cop zombies and things like that, you want to enclose yourself so they can't actually see you if you decide to make this an AFK base or something. But And, and a little bit higher than what I've made it, because otherwise they're going to stack. Okay, got some feral zombies here. You can see they do exactly the same thing. They cannot hit the pillar here. As you can see, they're not hitting the pillar at all. And even, like, as a player, it's very difficult to break those those things, right? I, I really struggle to break those things, but you can see they're stacking up over here. Such a cool little uh, little uh, way to make a quick base if you're, like, in an emergency in the middle of nowhere or something and you've got nothing. This is better than nothing. Now, obviously, if you have cop zombies, you're gonna have a little bit of a problem, right? So, you might want to not have bars here if you don't want to actually kill any of the zombies or have a way to kind of prevent them from spewing that nasty stuff at you. But as you can see, it is a bit of a problem when they use that stuff. Hey zombies! How you guys doing? Come on, you can't get me but... Yeah, so just watch out when you do something like this because you can have a bit of a problem. You can stand here, I guess. Yeah. Still, they do a lot of damage to all your surroundings and whatnot. Can be pretty, pretty problematic. Show you guys. You can go as high as you like, like this. Okay, and then you can, you can put anything up here. You can put normal blocks. You can make a big base up here. Just make sure there's enough pillars for the support. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bit of a problem. Now, it's, it's not 100%, I think. So if a cop zombie had to blow up downstairs or a demolisher, then obviously you're gonna have a problem with a single one. But I mean, it is pretty accurate to 100%. I mean. Just get, keep yourself covered, put yourself in a box, and you're gonna be fine the whole night. So let's try this, and then what we'll do is we'll have a horde night and see what actually happens. Okay, so we're on a horde night, day 7000, max game stage, max game level, and all that good stuff. And let's see if one pillar can hold up against a max game horde night. I have, no, I have noticed they are actually hitting on something there. You guys noticed that? Not they're hitting on each other, or what's going on? Okay, so by the looks of it, they are actually hitting the, the pillar. With having one like this, it really makes them think otherwise, right? There's nowhere else to go, but they're hitting this one pillar, and it's gonna come down. It's gonna come down, so doing this method doesn't work out. Having one is just not going to not going to cut it. As you can see, when they knock it out, you come tumbling down, and yeah, so having one, not a very good idea. But let's go back to this base here, and see if there's any difference with the Horde Knight zombies being... I don't know if they're a different AI or anything, but let's just quickly see... Are you gonna change anything? You got a different type of AI? Well, what are you gonna do? 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 So this one still seems to work just fine. There's no problem with this one. Because obviously the cop zombies can't be problematic, but you can see this still works just fine. Nope, stacking too high. There you go. So yeah, I guess... I guess when you when you leave it to the point where you've got like nothing else but one pillar, then obviously they're gonna go for it. But if you've got multiple pillars like this, then it's a bit different and they struggle to kind of detect it as a thing holding you up.
Well, I hope you learned something new today, guys. I really hope it helped you. Now, obviously, this type of base doesn't appeal to everybody. Not everybody likes this type of base, which is completely fine. I'm not a big fan of bases like this myself, but on this channel, we try and be diverse and we try and show you all different types of bases. Uh, it kind of helps out everybody. If you want to do a glitchy base like that, you can. So yeah, uh, another thing, guys, I wanted to say a big thank you to all my Patreons and members who support this channel. Obviously, YouTube pays really, really badly in terms of ad revenue, so the Patreons really keep the channel going and I really, really appreciate their support. So thank you, you guys. You are awesome. I really appreciate it. Again, guys, I hope this this video helped you hit the like button subscribe for more content like this and we'll be back soon